How's it going sports fans? I'm Josh Gregory coming to you from the Ohio University Convocation Center where we saw the Ohio Bobcats take on Kent State for the third time this year and they came out on top three to one after four grueling sets of volleyball. In their last go around, the Cats struggled against Kent State's offensive powerhouse Kelly Hutchinson, but this time the Bobcats made their presence known in the first set off of eight straight service points. Now Gilliland recorded 15 sets, Ashley recorded 12 digs, and the balance finished between Jamie Kosorek, Shelby Walker, and Mallory Salas paved Ohio's way to an easy 25-12 win in the first set. Kent State's Bridget Wilhelm started to pick up the slack from a quiet Hutchinson in the second set, but it wasn't enough to break Ohio's back row defensive wall. Ashy and Salas both racked up double digits, digs, and Gilliland kept her usual strong support, allowing both Jamie Kosorek and Mallory Salas to deliver strong finishes. Salas was a key player for the Bobcats, both offensively and defensively. She's just like a glue player. I know it sounds like kind of a, a vague saying, but she makes everybody better and she makes our setter better, she makes our back row better. I mean, she's just that kid, she works so hard. I mean, Mal is gonna work every single point at a level that most people choose not to. Now moving into the third set, we saw the grueling Kent State-Ohio rivalry we are used to seeing. With Hutchinson back in her prime, coming out from hiding, Drew Norberg at the net. Kent State finally found their fire and took this set 25 to 23. It was a battle between Salas, who racked up five kills, and Hutchinson, who racked up seven at the net. Both teams took their intense battle into the fourth set, but Ohio just had more endurance than Kent State. The Cats took off in the middle of the set on a six-point run to cut the score deficit in half. Kasork, who had been crucial to the Bobcat offense all night long, really shined in the fourth set. She led the Cats to a 25-15 win with seven kills. The Bobcats will take the momentum from tonight's win when they square off against Northern Illinois tomorrow night at 7.30 to decide who will be the MAC champion. And for reporting for WOUB Sports, I'm Josh Gregory.